Clutch Wines. Hey guys, um, so to kick off, not really to kick off, but, um, I was thinking about, you know, stuff to do for YouTube since I haven't uploaded in a while, and I decided to do a, a uh, I decided to start a new series. So yeah. So the new series, I don't exactly, ew. Oh, there's something in my skin. Uh, never mind. Um, there's something, uh, I decided to, I don't know what I'm going to call the series yet, but I think after a f couple of episodes I'll find a, uh, find a name. So, the new series is going to be basically about me, you know, DVD hunting for, you know, like, movies and TV seasons, and yeah, and then it's also, um... It's basically where it's kind of like wasting money one that channel. It's kind of like that where I try and fill up my shelf. I'll show you my shelf in a little bit, but I hunt for DVDs. I take you guys, my crowd, along with me, and it's separate episodes. And I just try and fill up my shelf so I can um uh, like. Fill up my shelf so my shelf is all full, and that's my uh, main reason. So, uh, this is getting, this clip is getting too long, but so basically, each episode I have a DVD that I'm looking for, and I go to maybe one or two stores, probably one, maybe two, and I look for these DVDs stuff, etc. etc. So. It's basically a season. It's kind of like a DVD hunting season. And I take you guys along with me. And there's every episode, there's a certain DVD um, slash thing, etc., etc., that I'm looking for. And so I look for that. And I bring you guys along with me. And every. Uh, every couple of episodes, I'll show you how my shelf is. Um, doing how um, larger my shelf is getting and when my shelf gets full I think I might end the series or um, probably what I'll do is I'll get another shelf and I'll put more DVDs on there so uh, yeah let me show you my shelf so this is my shelf right now um, there's some DVDs back here. It's lighting's really bad, uh, but there are DVDs um, back here. There's three. So this is my shelf so far. As you can see, to get a full scale, it's not many DVDs in there. So let me show you what I got. So the first thing is Simpson season two. I think this is season two. Yeah, and then. I got Simpsons season one, and by the way, these are collect the uh, collector's editions, so they're like a special box set. Yeah, it's really cool. And then this one, this Simpsons, it kind of got beat up at the top, which I hate. It's Simpsons complete fifth season. Now, the reason why I have season one, two, and five is because I got these two for Christmas, and then I got. The fifth one, which was a random one from one of my cousins for Christmas that he just found. And so I wound up with one, two, and five. <laughs> so next we have um, TMNT Season 3, which I really like the cartoon. I think it's, um, I like the nostalgia about it. But, yeah. So I have Season Three. And I have volume two. Now, when I went to Target to get these two, I was specifically looking for season one and season two, but they didn't have season one. And then I went to a different Target today to get my friend a birthday present, and they had season one. And I called up that store one day to see if they had season one in store. And they said they didn't have season one. So it was, that was awkward. But maybe they just got in the stores. But it's weird. 
So, the next are kind of movies. Yeah, the, the next are all movies. Um, this one, Ferris Bueller, you know. If you're, if you haven't seen this or you're not over 20 years old, then, yeah. So, um, it's Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's Bueller Bueller Edition. It, it was actually a really cheap price. I got it at five bucks at Target, which is a great price. And it has special features, even. And it's a great movie. I think it's really funny. So, the next movie... Now, I'm not going into, like, to tell about the plot of it or the details, but I'm just showing you right now. Napoleon Dynamite. Now, I got this movie for free from my aunt. And... It wasn't like a birthday present or something. I just watched it three times at her house, and then she said I could have it. So, Napoleon Dynamite. I think this is a really funny movie, but it's got great acting. It's really good acting, and yeah, Napoleon Dynamite, and it's not a special edition, but yeah. These next three movies are movies that I, I enjoy, but they're not ones I pick by choice to enjoy. So this first movie, I think some people didn't like it, but I really enjoyed it. It's The Dark Knight Rises. I got it for Christmas one year. It's the two-disc special edition. It has a super, super nice slip cover. Ow! <laughs> Rubik's Cube just hit my foot technical difficulties so it has a really nice slip cover if I can take it off but when I first got it I didn't know how good slip covers were take it off ah. okay so that's a slip cover this is a movie this is the beginning on the back and I really like the movie I think it had a very nice plot I watch it all the time I actually watched it like a couple weeks ago and it's I just really liked it so put that up there the next movie is The Dark Knight of course this movie was everybody thought it was amazing I thought it was alright some parts I didn't like like I think I think they did a little too much with the ending where they did with like Two-Face and stuff but yeah I enjoyed it, it's just, I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Dark Knight Rises, because I felt like, I mean, The Dark Knight was a good movie, and it had a lot of action, but I felt like that wasn't, like, Batman, like, at his best, where he's, like, all beast and stuff. I thought The Dark Knight Rises, he was really, um, he really took a next step into the um, Batman trilogy. And those are the two. I don't have Batman Begins because I actually didn't like that movie that much, to tell you the least. So this last movie, I don't really enjoy, but it was given to me, so I guess I kind of have to enjoy it. I've only watched it once. And yeah, so this next movie, The Amazing Spider-Man, I got it for Christmas for like a... um. A, like random gift and it was it was pretty good I enjoyed it but I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't like um well I don't really want to go into full detail I'll do movie reviews but I just didn't enjoy it that much now, when I was a little kid, I enjoyed the regular Spider-Man, like the old ones with the other guy. But these, I felt like he was more of a, like a One Direction kid, although he isn't. I felt like they re he relied on like how handsome he is. But like in the old Spider-Man, it was like really good. I felt it had a great plot. And it said the best Spider-Man yet. I'm probably going to throw this away or sell it. But for now, oh, in total film slash TV seasons I have, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 DVDs. That means more hunting. By the way, 
I will be going hunting on either Friday or Saturday of each week because that's when I get paid and that's when I get to go to Target to look for the DVDs. By the way, I don't have a job. I'm going to get paid for my, like, allowance and so uh, lighting is really bad i get paid for my allowance so i get paid for my allowance on friday tomorrow's thursday after thursday comes friday and then after friday means dvd hunting episode two so i hope you guys enjoyed the um first episode um and there's going to be a lot more episodes once I fill up my shelf. And I'm also going to do movie reviews and other stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember to stay clutch.